Hi and welcome to another video of Dad's RC Hangar. Today we are going flying. Oh, it is great weather. Everyone's going to be there. My buddy box TJ is going to be there. The J3 Cub's going to be there. It's going to be good. Fingers crossed. Behind me, I'm charging my batteries. Um, I didn't go through. I should have got the camera out maybe um, to show you how to charge batteries or how I charge batteries. Um, but uh, you can see my little lipo bags. Each one's got a four cell battery in. One of my sexy graphite batteries. And at the moment they are charging. Now I'll put them on a balance charge, which means they balance each cell. So it's four cell batteries, excuse me, each cell um, uh, accordingly. Um, sorry, I'm still eating my breakfast. It is early. Uh, I've got up early to get my ch batteries charged. I don't like to charge them the night before. Um, because obviously I don't like them in the house anyway, LiPo batteries can explode. Very, very rare, unless you mistreat them, and they, they're a lot safer, but you have to treat them with respect, should I say. Um, so, um, you know, charged batteries in the house, maybe not a good idea. Plus, um, as you may know or may not know, that uh, batteries don't like the cold. Um, at the moment, at night time, it's still cold, um, so maybe they'll drop a bit of power, and I've not realised it. Um, I've charged both my transmitters, one I'll be using and one that I'll be giving to the other pilot um, to buddy box me to make sure that I don't crash, fingers crossed again. Um, but, uh, um, you know, we're going flying. I'm going to try and record it. I don't know if I can because I've got no one to hold the camera. It looks a bit silly when I'm flying and it's sitting on a tripod. Um, yeah, I don't know, we'll have to see. But, but... Don't know if you can see that. I've got my run cam. Now I haven't used this yet. Now this is kind of like stick it on the plane. A little orange run cam. You know, those of you in the FPV world, yeah, FPV, uh, they you use run cams on the front of your um, quadcopters. Um, but yeah, you can stick them to the plane, record your flight. Hey, we'll see. If it crashes, then you know we at least we get it recorded and we can sit back and cry laugh but you know anyway so I've got to figure out how that sticks to the plane I mean you can do velcro I mean I really haven't tried this I mean I've got to charge it I think you know I've had so much going on in life work-wise that I really can't get the time to sit down and, and enjoy um, RC anyway so you've got this little thing here that we could velcro to the tour there to our plane with my little sticky velcros hopefully that uh, doesn't come off or you know I mean to be honest with you I could stick a couple of screws I mean it's on the underbelly of the J3 you know we could do it probably better if you I thought about it I could pull it in the cockpit if you remember me saying when I put the seats in the cockpit um, with the electronics on it's a place for FPV equipment to go there um, but hmm, don't know I'll stick this on somehow. I don't know, uh, but yeah. So I, I might go with that unless there's someone there that can use the camera. But I'd like to use this anyway to see what it's like. I mean, I've got it in orange. You get it in silver and black, I think. But I've got it in orange, so if it falls off, you can try and find it. Uh, they're not cheap, I suppose. Cheap, I don't know. Depends what you call cheap. Uh, I call anything more than a pound expensive. Uh, this was more than a pound. So you know, we'll give that a go. The batteries are charging. I'm waiting for them to go beep, beep, beep to tell me that they're charged. Um, yeah, I could do a bit of a close up maybe. Uh, but in case, let's, let's just do this. Hi, and welcome back. Um, I flew a couple of days ago, but I did decide to make a move until today. So how did my first flight go of my J3 Navy Cub behind me? Well, as you can see, it's still in one piece, which is a good thing, um, almost. Um, we had a bit of a rough landing, the undercarriage broke, um, but with a bit of uh, glue and a bit of hot glue, um, it's all ready to rock and roll. Now, what I did notice, if you was looking in another video, I'm not sure what video it was now, but I was saying that the actual rudder didn't seem to go all the way one way. It went sort of like different angles. And that was correct. Um, I had to realign the servo, so it was 50%. Now, when you look at the servos in the plane, um, I'm sure we'll look at an, on a different plane, which 
would be the uh, Folky Wolf, if I've said that right, Folk Wolf, um, next to me, which we'll be doing the uh, unboxing in the next video, um, is that the, you need to make sure they're 50%, so halfway through the travel of, of say, say for instance, um, rudder, left and right, you need to be in the centre of that, so, you know, it's going to do the same travel each way, um, which this wasn't. Um, something I didn't notice and was flagged up by the guys on the field um, but you can change that in your Tyrannus if you're using a Tyrannus I'm sure you can change it in any other transmitter you can make it so you can zero out your um, your servo at 50% sorry not zero out but 50% dial it in um, and then your travel is going to be the same now I did have this which is my run cam I took it to the field <laughs> ready to stick in on the back on, on the bottom of the J3 which you'll see in a picture probably um, you can see I actually used one of the screws that held the bar in for the undercarriage to hold this in. Um, perfect placement. Um, we'll go through the run cam in another video of how to set it up, which is really, really easy. Um, it's always best to set it up with your phone. Um, it's, it's easy. Anyway, you also need an SD card. Yeah. <laughs> um, I forgot the SD card. Yeah. So with this lovely flight of, of me flying is, is yeah, is not on the video. Um, so uh, the, the uh, gentleman that was buddy boxing me asked him to fly the plane, um, just to dial it in, uh, do the maiden as to say. Um, I got it taken off and I got it landing and the landing was pretty crap. Uh, he crashed it into long grass, uh, but that's because he said the rudder wasn't doing what it should be doing. Um, I also found that it was also the elevators was not dialed in properly. Um, it's giving you more one way than the other way. Um, normally most of the planes are, are pretty easy, but for some reason the J3 is a bit of an arse. Um, but anyway, so if you uh, see now, this is the takeoff. And the landing. And just a little shot around the plane. Okay, so that's all I've got for this uh, maiden, as to say. It does fly. Um, I found a bit of nose uh, uh, light. Um, I had to take off the nose cone, put some sticky weights in the front, put the nose cone back on. It's pretty easy to do. Um, but the, the whole plane is quite light, so a bit of wind and it's all over the place. Um, and this was from my instructor. Um, I flew it around, it was okay, um, but um, yeah, I, I couldn't get home with it. I just didn't feel like I gelled with the plane. Um, as I say, I used to use a Watt 4 and um, I could dial that in and, uh, and fly it around and be happy but this I was it looks like there was a bit of wind I mean it was a lovely sunny day um, on the Friday um, but there, in towards the afternoon there was quite a bit of a gust and um, it seemed to take it away so I, I don't know I mean you might have better experience with the J3 it's still a nice plane you know I do like and I found space and because of that we've got a, a new plane to build um, which is a another hobby king um, plane, uh, but we'll give this a go. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to help you guys. But you know, if you do want to buy a J3, and go for it. They do sell a different one, which, and I can't remember the name of it. I'm never so sorry, um, but it's the Grasshopper, I think they call it on Hobby King, uh, which has got the um, D-Day uh, markings on and stuff, and looks pretty cool. Um, it's a lovely looking plane. Um, you might have uh, a, a plane that builds the J3, sorry, that uh, builds perfect. But I will get this up and running next time. I'm hoping to fly next weekend, fingers crossed, if the sun is willing. Um, and if it is, um, we'll have some run cam footage of the actual flight with me landing and everything else. So look out for the next video, which will be the unboxing of this lovely plane. Um, until then, keep flying and keep safe. See ya.